In the real estate investment trust world, all everyone talks about is realty income. There's a million videos about it right now, and I get it. I own shares too. But today, I'm going to dare to be different, you guys, and I'm going to talk about a subcategory of the REIT, the mortgage REIT. Okay, audible gasp. I heard it from all of you, but let's just roll with me for a moment. I introduce to you Arbor Realty Trust. Has a 10-year total return that's beating the S&P 500 at 369.4% has nine years of dividend raises, a five-year dividend growth rate of 11.38%, and the cash dividend payout ratio is 79%. So why is no one talking about Arbor Realty Trust? And side question, do you think owning 174 shares of this mortgage REIT is risky? Okay, let's back up the bus a minute. Let's talk about what mortgage REITs actually are. They are essentially a subgroup within real estate investing. Instead of buying physical properties, they're all about the money side of real estate. These companies get involved in mortgages and securities that are tied to mortgages. They make money by earning interest on the loans they invest in, and some of them get some extra cash from the fees that they charge for helping with the loan process. So in a way, they're a bit like a financial stock because they focus on the financial aspects of real estate rather than owning the actual properties. They make money from the difference between the interest they earn and the interest they pay. And because it's a REIT, they are required to pay their investors 90% of their net income in the form of dividends. So let's learn a little bit more about Arbor Realty Trust. As per their website, ticker symbol is ABR, and they are a nationwide real estate investment trust and direct lender, providing loan origination and servicing for multifamily, single family rental portfolios, and other diverse commercial real estate assets. So what does that mean? If we break it down, Arbor Realty Trust basically exists to support individuals and companies by offering them loans to purchase or develop real estate. They provide the initial money, but they also take care of the ongoing management and servicing of the loans. They help people buy and manage multifamily properties, think big apartment buildings, and single family rental portfolios or houses for rent. And in order to do all these things, they offer multiple different loan programs. Remember this pretty infographic that I shared at the beginning? Did anybody pick up what was suspiciously absent? What's not included is the current dividend yield, which we know is gonna go up and down based on the share price. But as of this recording, the dividend yield is actually at 13.76%. Anyone else break out into a cold sweat? Yeah, okay. So to see if that cold sweat is justified, we probably should look at a few more metrics for Arbor Realty Trust. And let's start with debt to equity first and why it's important. So debt to equity is like figuring out how much money is owed the debt, compared to how much is invested in the company, which is the equity. If the company owes a lot, has that high debt, compared to what is invested by the company and the shareholders, it can increase the risk of the dividend being cut. And that's why we're here, right? We want the dividends rolling in, so this is important to us. A favorable debt to equity number is usually lower, showing a good balance between what they own, their equity, and what they owe, their debt. Arbor Realty has a debt to equity ratio of 381.84%. Yes, I'm still sweating. And this is 476% higher than the rest of the companies in the MRE sector. So that's a little scary. I'm still sweating, you guys. But Arbor Realty Trust puts out their quarterly report with their earnings summary at the end of October. And we're like, okay, what's happening here? Earnings per share was 41 cents, beating the estimates by six cents. The revenue was 107.29 million, beating by $8.95 million, which was up 8% year over year. Okay, so that feels like good news, right? So that brings us to cash dividend payout ratio, which is the cash dividends per share divided by the earnings per share, another metric we should look at. And again, it's a REIT, so it should be above 90%. In the trailing 12 months, it's sitting at 79%. Now the next metric the bear is reviewing is the short interest. And if we look at Arbor Realty Trust, we see that that's sitting at 25.7%. Essentially, this means that investors think the share price is going to drop, so they're selling short. So let's talk about what that means. And to do that, I'm going to tell you a story. So let's imagine I have a cool toy, and it's called a lemon twist. My friend Bob thinks the lemon twist is priced too high. So he borrows lemon twists, sells them to friends, and he hopes to buy them back when the price drops so he can get a deal. Bob's always wheeling and dealing. So the lemon twists in my story represent the shares of Arbor Realty Trust. Investors are borrowing shares of Arbor Realty Trust right now to sell at the current price because they believe that the share price is going to drop. And if the price does drop, they can buy the shares at a cheaper price. But it's a gamble. 
If the lemon twists, shares of Arbor Realty Trust, price goes up instead, Bob, shareholders, may actually have to pay more to get the lemon twists back. So the high short interest means Bob and investors believe the price is going to drop. Now, that being said, share price is all over the place. If we look back in 2023, we started the year and we were at $13.81. We jumped up to $15.07. We jumped down to 10. At one point, we were trading at $17.62, and today we're down to $12.50. All over the place. So maybe Bob and shareholders are right about Arbor Realty Trust. So with all that said, why invest in a real estate investment trust anyway? Well, the benefit is that it allows you to get your hands in the real estate game without actually having to own the property. Think no toilets to plunge, which for me, that's kind of a huge selling point. According to Investopedia, most REITs lease space and collect rents. Then they distribute that income as dividends to shareholders. Mortgage REITs, also called M REITs, they don't actually own the real estate. Instead, they finance real estate. These REITs earn income from interest on their investments, which includes the mortgages, mortgage-backed securities, and other related assets. For more information about real estate investment trusts, I'm going to leave a link to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, which explains it in a lot more detail. What's important for shareholders to know is that generally, we are taxed at our individual ordinary income tax rates for any dividends that we receive, unless you hold them in your Roth IRA, because we don't pay taxes on dividends or capital gains in our Roths. Now, if you missed it, I did a video about the things that you need to do now to get your financial house in order. I'll link it in the comments if you haven't seen it, or you can go and read about it on the Prosperity Newsletter. Guys, I, I created a newsletter and there's 21 people that are reading it. So, you know, my mom and 20 other people. I also created a handy worksheet that you can find there as well. And there you can also learn about what the contribution limits are going to be in the next year. So Arbor Realty Trust, is it worth it? Is it worth the risk? Do you guys own shares? I know some of you do. Some of you are all in with me because I own 174 shares and... When I watch the price, when I watch the yield, I do break out into a cold sweat. Anyway, would you add it to your portfolio? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And until next week, go and take a peek at this video next. Well, the benefit to investing in REITs is that it'll, everyone makes so much noise in this house, you guys. Who's barking, scratching their ears, sucking on their toes? <laughs> I'm back to I need a padded room to record it. This is ridiculous. Okay, I think you settled.